I've traditionally used my downtime around the holidays to go through my productivity system, filing away things that I'm no longer using, and I make sure my systems are functioning properly and most efficiently. That means I do a full-scale review and cleanup of Evernote. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. I hope that your New Year's resolution includes upgrading your productivity game. Perhaps my course, Getting Things Done with Evernote, can help you out. Find out more at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and just click on Courses. So let's go inside my Evernote account so I can show you how I do my year-end cleanup and review. I've always found that at the end of the year, when things slow down a little bit, setting aside personal obligations, that it's a good time to review your systems. During the year, we just seem to be so busy that all we can do is input data and do our work. But the end of the year is a really great time to go over everything in our system. So one of the things that I always try to do to start with is to go through all of my notebooks. Do they serve me well? Are they the right kind of notebooks? Do I need to add new notebooks? for new projects or new areas of my life that are important to me? Do some of my notebooks no longer apply to what I do? In which case, I don't want to delete them. I want to move them to an archive. I suggest creating a notebook stack for your archive. Now, you can have multiple stacks. You could have a stack for work. You could have a stack for home. You could have a stack for any number of areas or contexts that you use throughout the year. Some people I know have archives that are associated with the year, like archive-2023 or archive-2024. The idea is that when you've taken your vacation, you no longer need it in your active notebooks, but you don't want to lose track of it because you might want to reflect back on the hotel that you stayed in or that dinner that you ate. So you can put this notebook into your archive folder. Next thing I do is I review my tags. Now, my tags are set up around the people that I mostly interact with and also tags for where I might actually do my work. Are they still valid? Do they still work for me? Or do I want to change them? Do I want to delete some? Do I want to add some? The uh, next set of tags are associated with the way I get my work done. And I actually outline how I use these tags in my course, Getting Things Done with Evernote. I don't want to get too far uh, into that right now. Those almost never change because they're loosely based on the Getting Things Done system. But all of these Tags associated with individual people are very important to me. So I've got to review those and see if they are correct. If I decide that, well, Fred is no longer with us, but I want to, you know, continue tags for the facilities manager, uh, I can just go in and I can change the name of that tag. And I could call it Bob, the facilities manager. Um, if you delete a tag, you're not deleting the notes. You're just deleting the tag. Now, of course, you're also going to do other things that are not associated strictly with Evernote, but play a role. You want to check your email system. Do you have anything in your email system that also deserves to be archived? Uh, you might want to go through each and every one of your notebooks and see if all of the files in your notebooks are still important to those notebooks, or do you want to move those into your archive? It's a good time also to think about how you use your system. My system has been in place for a number of years, so I'm not sure that I'm going to change this system at all. But I do find that I have to rethink how I use some of these concepts. Uh, are they still as valid as they once were? Uh, here's a good example. So at one point, office only was an extremely important tag because I left my home and I had a 9 to 5 job. Well, I no longer work outside of my home. Uh, I have a home office for my consulting business. But I also teach at an area university, so maybe I'll want to add a tag 
uh, for that university because it's something I, a task that I can only do at that university. That's where kind of rethinking this I think is extremely important and archiving the things that are no longer active. Putting them into your archive folder of course still keeps them accessible to you. You can still, if you do a search on something, they'll still turn up in your uh, search engine. So that's always important. You never lose track of anything but you just want to make sure that these notebooks in particular, but also these tags are relevant to the way you are doing work today and the way you're going to do your work in the year ahead. The time spent cleaning up your Evernote account is worth it when you get back into your normal routine in the new year. Happy New Year.